Before they meet their new families, Jessica and Maybelle have a chance to look around their new homes. Oh, no, no. You know, that's no bueno. That's not good at all. Okay, okay. There's stuff everywhere. Are these all kids' names? No. No, they don't they have a lot of boys. Oh, I'm stepping over everything. Break my neck. <laughs> Very different than my world. Very clean and orderly. There's plenty of tchotchke here, but organized. Like, there's no mess on the floor. Her bathroom looks a lot cleaner than mine. Oh, my boys are going to eat her alive. Ooh, I see a lot of clutter. Oh, my god. Why is there a hairbrush in the kitchen? Rotten fruit. Obviously, this family does not think about cleanliness. This, what is all this? And that's right above their food. It's tattooed snake charmer. It's not my style. I would not have displayed that in my house. Sword swallowing? Oh my gosh, am I in a circus family? Chris established the world record for weighted sword swallowing by swallowing a sword with a 17-inch blade. Like, how do you do that to your body? It's insane. OK, then. Hmm. There's a lot of extra furniture. I wonder if they collect pieces, because there's a lot of these armoire things. I can't even open the door all the way. Everything is in disarray. Their overall lifestyle is just a disaster. So I have walked into a circus house, but my house is literally a circus every day. So good luck. Maybelle and Jessica have each written a manual to guide the new parent with the running of their home. Welcome to our home. My name is Maybelle, my husband is Chris, and our daughter, Ava, is 14. Chris and I are circus sideshow performers. Great. I am Jessica, my husband is Scott, and our four rambunctious boys. Our family is a running, jumping, free-for-all with lots of rudeness, eye-rolling. They are absolutely feral animals. Oh, my word. Chris is by far more of the disciplinarian than I am. Ava is currently grounded. Her punishment is the loss of her phone for eight weeks. In addition, she can't go to the homecoming dance when it comes to things like memory events, homecoming dances, stuff like that. I don't want my kids to have regrets like I do. I was a stay-at-home mom for nine years, but went back to work full-time. The extra income helps with the fact that my husband is an avid collector. His penchant for spending money on antiques. When we had it earmarked for something else, this is what we argue about most often. Wow, we'll see about this. Chris never shuts off his brain. It's constantly work, work, work. He's always tired. Last fall, he almost bled to death by piercing his esophagus in a sword swallowing stunt. The freedom to express ourselves and chase our dreams is worth the risk. As someone who did not pursue her passion, yeah, I get it. But the thought of my husband being consistently in danger, that would cause me some serious anxiety. It's now time for the wives to meet their new husbands and families. Hi. I'm Scott. Hi, Scott and Maybelle. It's yeah. a pleasure to Maybelle. be here. Nice to meet you. Look behind you. Hey, we have a switch. I don't even know. Gentlemen. Look at all the gays we have. Don't Learn bite. More about Come us. here. That's not how I would be running a household with these boys. There she is. <laughs> hey, Chris. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jessica. Jessica, and this Ava. is Ava. Hi, Ava. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you too. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank Come over you. here. <laughs> so. How did you get started with sword swallowing and fire breathing? <laughs> I've been weird my whole life. I loved the circus when I was a child. They accepted the freaks and the weirdos and the rejects. And now we do hundreds of shows a year. I need everything to be perfect. I never slow down and stop. I don't know how to shut my brain off. My family is really chaotic, so I get it. Gotcha. 